<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. Good afternoon, people. It's rate my beer. Rate my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to it myself, actually. <laughs> Papa of fat, I called it the wrong name, but there you go. It was due to um, no one could find. We kept meeting people in the week, and no one could find Paul T's beer review. So, bonjour, he's gone. Yep, rate my beer is a bit easier, I think, for people to remember and type in. So, all lowercase or one word. Mm -hmm. Anyone could do that. Yep. Even you. So, there you go, look at that for a nice glass. It is Alpha on the Heineken Blade. It was meant to be quack, but my parcel on the Perfect Draft Pro has ended up in Southampton. So, yeah. I thought, right, let's knock this one out. Anyway, oh, please, you can see the top oh, of I have an issue with this light. <laughs> and light nearly took me out, people. It's like, Jesus. And it is. Hold on to that one so it doesn't bash in. Trouble is, I can't see it. Coming out. I did do a sample last night of this, if I'm honest, people. And uh, we've only got a quarter of a keg left, just over. As you can see, I think I've done a keg for the night. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Oh, do, do, do you see? Now, I'm not being funny here, but you do not get this with a perfect draft pro. That's not being biased. Look at that. It was actually pouring out alright last night. I think it's just. You get a bit nervous when you do that. Nervousness <laughs> is for wimps, and I've got my correspondence to catch up with. Right, hold on. I'm holding on to this blimmin' lamb, so don't conk you one. Then <laughs> again, that'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Really? There you go. Uh, He's got it this time. When in doubt, trust me. Right, we're not going to do the review here. Let's go up there. Yeah, okay. Because I don't want that lamp to wait. No. Right, quick pause, people. Right, okay, just had a little shenanigan with a dog, should we say. Anyway, here we are. Now, this is ice cold, as I was advised to drink it at. Yeah. Um, it's the, as I said earlier, it's the right heat here today. Uh, we did sample, as I say, almost three quarters of the keg last night. It seemed to have dropped a bit rapidly. I reckon the wife was having a self-service. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time, should we say. But anyway, um, sometimes known as Greeks Carling. Greeks, Carlsberg. Um, I got more into it last night, if I'm honest. At first, I must admit, the first pour, I did think it was pretty bland. I think the real secret with this drink is to get it as cold as possible, and as we were sort of advised, freeze the glass first. Um, yeah, hot day, get it really cold, and it's yeah. quite nice. I mean, yeah, you have enough. I mean, yeah, the first off, all you're going to say there, it's just it's like a standard lager, which it is, yeah, you can say it's got a bit of malt to it, it's got a bit of lemon, but yeah. you're not going a lot. It's yeasty. It's whatever you want it to be. Some would say it's hoppy. You know? No, I'm, I'm getting the maltiness, uh, a slight cit citrusy smell there. Definitely a zesty smell. Mm -hmm. I mean, what put me off this before was, was watching... Um, uh, my Welsh friend, and he mm. said it was peppery or spicy or something. He does know his stuff, but well, this my cake's different. I can't agree with that, if I'm honest. So this comes in at 5%, yep, which makes 5 it... 5% ABV, do your Heineken blade. A nice, you know, sort of middle of the road percentage, so yeah. I... Steady carbonation, the head's died off a bit, that could be because of the heat here, I couldn't... Yeah, we picked the perfect day to review this, it's ever so warm today. Um, yeah, it has got that that Euro feel to it. 
and obviously we've got hammered on this in Greece before. I also like their Alpha Bison, which we've had in Greece and in the UK in cans, haven't we? Yeah. This is this is a good bog standard lager. It is quite generic, but saying that, it's quite pleasant as well. It's easy drinking as long as it's yeah, really yeah. cold. Doing it while it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> But there's nothing, there's nothing that's going to blow your mind in it, let's put it that way. Um, You've got a light carbonation, there is a sweet, not overly sweet, but a soft maltiness to begin well, with. There's a little bit of sweet, um, I thought that. You are getting a little bit of citrus there. But I think this is just one of those lagers that is... A really quite good all rounder for everyone on a nice hot summer's day. Have you noticed the aftertaste is citrusy? Yeah. As well? Which yeah, I'm I not... didn't pick up on that last night, I must admit. The aftertaste on this, Paul's right, there is a lingering kind of citrusy taste in this, which is actually quite pleasant. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not particularly hoppy or bitter. Um, it's better than I thought. Hmm. So my scorecard's kind of gone up a little bit to what it was. It's not great in any way, shape, or form. There is better on the blade, in my opinion. Um, if you're going for lagers, um, Villacha, Villacha, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. is a far better beer than that. But it's one of them you've got to try. I mean, I remember only last year everyone was paying 50 quid a keg. I can see this being popular, good all rounder for a lot of people now, that like drinking lager. Because it's yeah. bad, although Beer Wolf didn't put my post up, but you know, never mind. That's how it goes, isn't it? I did put a post up last night showing the glass, but I think uh, because I put an eBay link, I was probably a bit naughty, you see. So, yeah, that was a nice glass, isn't it? Yep, yeah, there is a couple of them on eBay. I will share the link for the glass because they're really hard to get hold of. Fortunately, I got one sent to me, and um, yeah, glass is well worth having if you're going to drink it, isn't it? It's a, mm. it's a must, isn't it? And so, there is a couple of them currently on eBay, and I'll also put a a link up to a really good blade group, very well, well, well run by a professional. Hello. Indeed. Mm. That's it. Say, it's, this it's, is it's, it's easy drinking. We sat and and we had a few of these last night. Um, I found it quite easy to drink. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't blow you away. Either in the strength of it or in its character is quite generic. Five percent, still a good but, standard um, lager. Five percent is still premium. It is, it, it is easy drinking, but when it's warm, but, yeah, but, you get that glass right. nice and cold. Yeah, I, I quite like You're it. You're missing the whole point. Five percent is still premium strength lager. Yeah. You're saying it's not. Well, it's well, not. I'll tell you, it's 5 not. Five percent is below like the, your mind. The Cronenberg kind of the old of, days. Um, the Lowenbrau, the Cronenberg. Yeah. Whereas it's not the Fosters or the Carlin or the Carlsberg. I know for us, we sometimes like them a little bit stronger. But then I don't tend to try to go above 6% because they kind of... Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but 5% is still still premium strength. You know, yeah, it's never going to be as good in your home bar as it is on a beach in Greece. But I tell you what, it's going down quite well today in the heat that we've got here. <laughs> mm. That's what I was saying, drink it quick while it's cold. Mm. But yeah, I mean, brewed by Heineken in Greece... It's obviously a, a real winner out there. Mm. <clears throat> it's been around here, as I say, a while now. We've just not got onto it, have we? We've been obviously spending more time on the perfect drafts and that, due to the beer releases being a lot better, in yeah, our been opinion. Yeah, a lot of good releases, I think, so. Yeah, but there's some good things, hopefully, to come. Someone told on the blade, I don't know, but let's hope so. I think after the last three releases, in our opinions, that's both of us, I mean, Soul, Heineken Silver and Strongbow Dark Fruits, well, for me, you might as well just go down to Tesco's for them, isn't it? It's pretty much for much. It isn't It isn't the sort of thing that I would want 14 pints of from my machine. Um, I wouldn't want one pint of any of them, personally. This, this though, I would go on again. I, I wouldn't go on think... again, because I think 14 is too many. Ooh. But I'm not dead against it. Um, there's too much, there's too many different options. On the other machines, um, and obviously for the blade, we normally use it for for visor and that. But I do feel, as I say, it is drinkable. Um, it's not great. There's not too much more you can say about it. You can go on and on, gabbling on about a load of crap that is 
not necessarily right. I'm going on a seven. I was originally going on a six. Yeah, it's definitely getting a seven for me. Yeah, I, I like this. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a good all rounder. I wouldn't rush out to buy it again, but that's because hopefully um, the blade's going to start delivering some better kegs, shall we say, in our opinions. That would be fair, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But that's not bad. I'll say, I'll put a link up for the glasses, there's two of them on eBay currently at 99p and a link for a well run blade group and they probably publish posts unlike the other blade groups for some reason. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know the politics of that and I don't need to. So, what can I say, uh, it's a rate the beer, double seven. Rate my beer. Yeah. <laughs> I keep doing There's that. There's made up the name as well. It's rate my beer, all lowercase. And it's a rate my beer seven. Yeah, it's a, a double seven. rate my beer seven. <laughs> oh dear, good on my own. Right, what can I say? As I say, thanks for watching. Bonjour and see you on the next one. Okay, see you next time.